Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Sex Studios. Today in this video, we're going to be doing a little bit of an experiment. We're going to go ahead and download Grand Theft Auto Online on the standard PlayStation 4 on a 500 megabit connection. And this is a half gig connection. So Grand Theft Auto has the new online casino out that's pretty fun to play. And I want to go ahead and jump in and try it out myself. So... On my computer right now, I'm going to show you how fast my internet connection is. So I'm going to do a quick speed test on Google.com. As you can see, I'm well over 400 megabits per second, approaching 500. So I'm pretty close to that half gig connection, and I have a decent upload speed as well. So let's go ahead and download Grand Theft Auto and see how long this actually takes. And to re-download Grand Theft Auto, you will need to go to your home screen and go all the way over to the right to your library. Now under library, let's go up to the top to search and type in Grand Theft Auto. And here it is right here. Let's go ahead and select it and start downloading it on my PlayStation 4. So once we hit download, I'm going to go ahead and start my clock on my phone. All right, I'm going to press X right now and press start. So the timer has started right now. We're at five seconds. And I'm gonna download this extra little cash bonus too. I need a little bit more money. So Grand Theft Auto just has officially been added to my download section. So let's press the PlayStation button and then go to notifications and monitor this as it downloads. So I can select this. I can see it. It's preparing to download right now. So the new heist seems like it will be pretty fun. And Grand Theft Auto Online has been making billions of dollars for Rockstar. It's a phenomenal success. And because it's such a success, it's kind of hard for Rockstar to want to go ahead and make a new Grand Theft Auto because they just keep adding more and more to Grand Theft Auto Online. And this game has been, what, out for almost a decade now, it seems like. It originally launched September 17th, 2013, and it was playable on the Xbox 360. Isn't that insane? So it spans the 360, the Xbox One, and the Xbox Series S. Three different generation of consoles. So right now you can see my estimated amount of time is 26 minutes left for the entire application to go ahead and download. And typically those estimates on the PlayStation 4 are pretty close. So it is absolutely booking right now. This is a large download file too. I believe it's close to 80 gigabytes. And sometimes with games, they have a smaller download time at the top. And that is the time when the game is playable, but not all the features will be available to you to go ahead and use. So you might just be able to download like the single player or the multiplayer section first and then start playing. I know that's how it was with Call of Duty Modern Warfare. I was able to play the single player while the multiplayer downloaded in the background. So I'm at about three minutes so far with the download time. Let's go ahead and speed this up a little bit and just see how quickly it downloads and see if those estimates are actually correct. All right, so the game for me is now ready to use, and that took me about 14 minutes to go ahead and get to that point. I believe I will be able to play the single player portion of Grand Theft Auto Online halfway through it. And there we have it. Grand Theft Auto has taken approximately 30 minutes to go ahead and download on a 500 megabit connection on the standard PlayStation 4. Now I'm going to hop in and play some Grand Theft Auto and try out the new heist.